Hey! So, we thought for our introductions it'd be kind of fun and different to do a intro video since we didn't see anyone else doing anything like that. And because, well, we're always together. Literally. <laughs> we are roommates. I'm Sherry. I'm Amanda. And we're both in your class together, so we thought we have like, all the same classes, all the same major, we live together, so why not do everything together? Even intro videos. So, oh, so, <laughs> well, we're both SLP majors. Yes, there we go. That's where I was going. The first question. <laughs> yes, speech language pathology. We're both seniors. And we have lots of hobbies and passions. Um, we like to read. We both now have Kindles. And we love animals. We love music. There's, it's very rare to be in our house without music. It's actually really quiet in here right now. Because we knew we were filming this. Yeah. We're also sort of obsessed with this color blue and Christmas lights. I don't know if you can see the reflection in the window, but you might be able to. We've got lights everywhere. We love it. And to go back to the animal thing, we're on our second rescue cat right now. He's right around, so if he runs into the picture frame, he's a little black kitten. And what else are some hobbies? Um. I'm not that interesting. <laughs> you really are, though. She has lots of friends. I like adventures. We both like adventures. That's true. Anytime we do something random or just for a moment, spontaneous. We've done lots of things with her parents. I, my family's kind of crazy. Sometimes we just... My parents and I have ended up in the weirdest places. Deer farms. Um, I don't know. Random places in downtown. Just, that's how you find the coolest places. You just We've picked end apples up places. in 100 degree weather. Yep, that's happened. It was in the fall, but we were sweating. That yeah. was lovely. I feel it's crazy in a very fun way. Yeah, just I love your family. Weird places. And since she is from Washington, yes, I should plug that <laughs> near Seattle. Her family is so far away that she's just been part of mine, and that's why we do all these crazy super adventures with my parents. She's kind of <laughs> stuck with me. So I've adopted her. Pretty much. Um, that could kind of be quirk. Could that be a quirk? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that you're from forever away? Yeah, that can be a quirk. Yeah, it's not normal for someone to leave their family. <laughs> There's the cat. Kitty, kitty, kitty. He's like, don't touch me. Got him. This is Dugan. <laughs> He's like, please put me down. <laughs> but he showed up on our back porch and we took him in. And what else? You could mention... Oh yeah! We know sign language. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and we're both super earthy. Hopefully one day we'll end up being like those hippie chicks. I can't, I've not succeeded in that quite yet. But I think we should go on to our next question. <laughs> yes. We're rambling. I All right, you can go first. What do you intend to do? Um. I intend to work with, well I have to go and get my master's first, and then once I have that I want to either work with children or with the elderly. My mom works in a program called Meals on Wheels and with the elderly and stuff like that and I've always loved them in that type of area so I can see myself doing that but I also love kids so maybe the schools. But this is where we're different because Amanda... I'm getting my doctorate in audiology, hopefully, if anyone accepts me into their grad school, that's what I want to go to, is um, for audiology. Um, I started SLP, obviously, and then I decided that I wanted the more scientific route and everything with the audiology, and after touring some grad schools with their audiology departments and stuff, I've, I know that's where I should be instead of SLP. And... Yeah, so I don't really know where I want to work with that, but I've got four years to figure it out, so. You're going to be in school forever. Forever. <laughs> um, next question. If we were on a desert island for a year, which five objects would we take? Okay, well, first of all, we bring my boyfriend, Brian. I've been dating him for over seven years now, and... You're never getting married? <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen one day. Um, we would bring him, he's very smart thinker on his feet, very quick thinker, and I think that he would keep us sane a and little safe. bit. And he's very techy, like you said. He could, he could find a way to get us some help or something. I don't know. We'd also get clean water and food 
And we'd also bring our purses. That's our loophole because my purse has literally everything. Yeah, in we it. have huge purses. With Technically, a purse is one thing, but it's got many things in it. And we also said extra clothes because, I mean, what girl is going to want to go somewhere for a year and not have extra clothes? And we figure since we're always together, we probably somehow get on this deserted island together. So we have 10 things total, my five things and her five things. I can count. Um, <laughs> we would also have a first aid kit because I don't want any infections or anything bad to happen. Um, a tent, so we have a place to sleep. And a raft in case we wanted to try to get somewhere else. And flares, because I don't know how deserted it is. Maybe if we let off flares, like another ship or something would see us. And we also agreed to a volleyball. I, I think that would be fun. Entertainment. Plus we have a little Wilson. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so that's a little bit about us. Sorry for the rambling. And we hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed our video.